Today we will talk about the Euphrates River, an ancient river of great importance, which has been fundamental in the construction of some of the largest and most powerful civilizations in history. However, due to recent climate changes, this river is facing significant drought. In this video, we will explore the discoveries made by scientists in this context. We invite you to watch the video until the end. Throughout history, the Euphrates River has played a crucial role in irrigating the surrounding areas, greatly contributing to the production of various agricultural crops. This has led to it being considered one of the most important rivers, due to its influence on agriculture and livestock. The drought of the Euphrates has particularly impacted Iraq, a country that largely depended on this river for its daily activities. The drought has affected the fertility of agricultural lands, resulting in a decline in crop production and consequently the spread of famine. Additionally, increasing crop shortages have led to an increase in population density in the country, creating greater demand for food despite the lack of capacity to produce it. Water from the Euphrates River is also essential for various industries, and its scarcity has had a negative impact on the economy, making daily life difficult. Faced with this situation, Authorities have been looking for ways to rationalize water consumption instead of depleting resources in an uncontrolled manner. Excessive water consumption has caused a notable decrease in the level of the Euphrates River. Additionally, dams have been built in Turkey that have significantly restricted the flow of water into this river, contributing to the drought problem. It is also mentioned that the politics between America, Iraq and Turkey have influenced this situation. In the past, Saddam Hussein tried to stop the construction of dams and the diversion of water flow from the Euphrates River to Turkey. However, the U.S. invasion in 2003 transformed this region from fertile lands to dry lands, aggravating climatic conditions and increasing population. The Euphrates River, which in many cultures is considered a sacred symbol, is experiencing the drought predicted in ancient religious texts. It is mentioned in these texts that this drought is a harbinger of the end of the world and that it will lead to significant conflicts between different peoples. In the context of Islam, the Quran refers to this drought and warns that it will lead to widespread famine and trouble, which is currently considered to be the fulfillment of ancient prophecies mentioned by the Prophet Muhammad. However, the dryness of the river has had a positive effect on the scientific community. Archaeologists and paleontologists have discovered a series of relics and artifacts buried under the waters of the Euphrates dating back more than 3,000 years BC. These findings have shed light on ancient civilizations and have provided answers to numerous questions about these societies. Some consider the region to be a kind of time capsule that houses a rich collection of antiquities. In the year 2022, many scientists continued to explore these wonders hidden beneath the surface of the Euphrates River, taking advantage of the drought to advance their research. The search for ancient secrets and historical monuments is a fascinating field of study that has led to the discovery of tombs and ancient inscriptions used to document information about the health system, nutrition and daily life in bygone eras. Among the notable finds is the Epic of Gilgamesh, which has aroused the curiosity of many scholars. Fortunately, under the waters of the Euphrates River, engraved stones have been found that shed light on this ancient civilization and its enigmatic king. These inscriptions have provided valuable information about how the king ruled in a dictatorial manner, as well as details about the life of his people. Scientists have deciphered these engraved stones to better understand this ancient civilization. In addition, stones have been found that bear a strange similarity to the shape of the head of the statue. The reason for its creation remains a mystery. Scientists continue to search for the rest of the statue's body in hopes of obtaining more details about its design and purpose. Currently, ways are being sought to accelerate archaeological research processes while restoration work is carried out on buildings and roads. In regions where rivers are scarce, methods to produce drinking water are being investigated. Additionally, future inventions and technologies, as well as the skills of creative workers, are explored. 
Curiosity is a fundamental quality that drives geniuses to explore new ideas and discover infinite possibilities. Through various sources of knowledge, we seek to combine information in a precise and simple way. Discovering a constantly flowing river of knowledge is essential to learning about the world around us. Investigations focus on the facts and delve into research to provide accurate details and understandable concepts. Asia, the largest and most varied landmass on our planet, offers both the highest mountains and lowest valleys, the longest coastlines and the widest range of climatic extremes found anywhere on Earth. Bounded by the Arctic, Pacific and Indian Oceans, as well as the Red Sea and smaller inland seas, Asia has been home to the most diverse variety of plant and animal life throughout the ages. Throughout ancient civilizations, this region has also been home to many unusual and sometimes terrifying discoveries that scientists continue to uncover. From possible signs of human sacrifice to the role of demons in prehistoric times, the fire mummies. Unlike the Egyptians, ancient Filipino tribes had a unique way of treating their dead. They turned them into fire mummies. This involved subjecting the bodies to intense fire instead of embalming them. When someone was about to die, they were given a lot of salt to dehydrate the body from the inside. After death, the bodies were roasted for weeks or months. Sometimes they even put hot embers inside them to smoke them from the inside. Once completely dry, the bodies were made into a kind of compact human jerky and placed in small lemon-shaped coffins called kamansi. These coffins were hidden in remote caves in the mountains. When the Spanish colonizers arrived in the 16th century, these practices disappeared due to the Catholic burial customs they brought. The Cabayan Caves, where the mummies were found, were forgotten, but were later rediscovered. So far, more than 300 fire mummies have been found in these caves, some up to 1,500 years old with tribal tattoos visible on their cooked skin. The Golden Bowl. In 1958, archaeologists in northwestern Iran discovered a shattered golden bowl in the charred remains of an ancient fortress called Herods or Hesa Unzan. This Iron Age fortress was near present day Panner. The bowl was more than 3,000 years old and belonged to the royal domains of Ur, an Iron Age kingdom in Armenia. The bowl was decorated with images of warriors chariots and mythological creatures made of solid gold. Although very valuable in its time, it was found damaged among the ruins of Herods. Experts believe that around 800 BC, Herods was attacked by enemies who invaded the citadel. During the chaos of the invasion, three soldiers attempted to take the golden bowl, but were trapped under rubble as the citadel was destroyed by fire. His outstretched hands held the shattered remains of the bowl. These soldiers were not heroes, but looters who risked their lives for material gain and lost both their lives and treasure. This shattered bowl is a reminder of the dangers of looting and greed in times of war, and how it often leads to significant human and material loss. Homo floriensis What discovery could be more important than finding a species of hobbit in ancient times? In 2003, on the Indonesian island of Flores, a team of archaeologists found tiny human remains in the Liang Bua cave. These humans, known as Homo floriensis, were very small, with brains much smaller than modern humans. Although they were small, they were not simply dwarfs or developmentally disabled, but a different species that lived on the island about 50,000 years ago. Surprisingly, they also found tools and evidence of fire suggesting they were intelligent and had advanced survival skills. This discovery challenges our ideas about human evolution and makes us think about the possibility of finding other forgotten human relatives. Flores hobbits show why there are always new discoveries waiting for us, even about ourselves. The Demon on a Clay Tablet In 2020, an ancient 20,700-year-old clay tablet found decades ago in an ancient Assyrian sanctuary was translated. This tablet depicts a demon called Zu and contains descriptions of an ancient exorcism ritual. It offers rare insights into Mesopotamian demonology and popular medicine of that time. Originally, the tablet was found in a sacred cave in northern Iraq, 
which was part of a temple dedicated to the Assyrian gods Asher and Norda. During excavations in the 1950s, archaeologists discovered this tablet along with other ancient objects. In it, Zu is depicted as a winged demon with horns, a human body, bird legs and tail, and a tongue similar to that of a snake. The text explains that Zu was considered an evil spirit capable of possessing humans, and causing problems such as seizures and strange behavior. At that time, the Assyrian and Babylonian people believed that these afflictions were caused by demonic forces rather than physical illnesses. The inscription on the tablet describes a spell that priests recited in an exorcism ritual to expel Zu, stating that, thanks to the power of the gods Anu and Shamash, Zu's spirit would be expelled and left defenseless. Mohenjo-daro Mohenjo-daro was an ancient city in the Indus Valley, in present-day Pakistan and India. It was one of the most advanced cities of the Bronze Age, with a population of more than 35,000 people around 2500 BC. However, it was completely abandoned around 1800 BC, and its ruins remained forgotten for a long time. Archaeologists began investigating it in the 1920s and discovered many interesting details, but also a dark mystery about its disappearance. The name Mohenjo-daro means Mound of the Dead in Sindhi, due to the human skeleton scattered among the rubble. The city is believed to have suffered catastrophic flooding that contaminated the water and spread disease. It has also been suggested that it may have been invaded by nomadic Indo-Aryan tribes migrating to the region. The remains show signs of violence, such as injuries to the skulls and skeletons in the streets. Chemical analyzes possibly indicate the use of incendiary weapons during the destruction of the city. Although natural disasters played a role, evidence suggests that the city also experienced a violent end. Although we do not know who the conquerors were, the name Mound of the Dead reminds us of the terrible costs of war in ancient times. The Anunnaki Tablets The ancient astronaut theory raises the idea that extraterrestrial beings visited Earth in the past and had an impact on ancient civilizations. Its supporters cite evidence such as the Egyptian pyramids and ancient Sumerian tablets. These tablets mention the Anunnaki, beings who came searching for gold, modified the first humans, and brought advanced technology. Although most scholars consider the Anunnaki to be part of mythology, proponents of this theory believe in a real intervention of extraterrestrials in Earth's history. Ultimately, regardless of whether or not we believe in this theory, it demonstrates our curiosity to explain our origins and our relationship with the universe. Ancient stories about gods descending from the sky reflect our search for meaning more than they do reality. Whether or not ancient aliens existed remains a mystery, but our fascination with these possibilities continues to drive our search for answers about our enigmatic beginnings. The Hidden Rooms of the Taj Mahal The Taj Mahal in Agra, India, is famous for its beautiful Islamic architecture and romantic history, as it was built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in the 16th century in memory of his wife Mumtaz Mahal. However, there are legends about possible hidden chambers in its lower level that have never been opened. Some argue that the Taj Mahal was built on top of an ancient Hindu temple dedicated to Shiva and that the sealed chambers could contain evidence of this. Others say that Shah Jahan planned to use the Taj Mahal as his own mausoleum and that the Mughals often built lower chambers to bury royalty. In 2015, underground scans were carried out which confirmed the presence of a chamber behind the walls on the lower level. But further exploration is not permitted due to the risk of damaging the building. Therefore, the content and purpose of these hidden cameras remain a mystery. There is also a legend suggesting that Shah Jahan planned to bury treasures alongside him in the mausoleum. In short, the Taj Mahal's hidden chambers remain an enigma after 400 years. The Hanging Pillar The Lepakshi Temple, an ancient Hindu temple in the Anantapur district of Andhra Pradesh, India, is home to an astonishing pillar known as the Hanging Pillar. At first glance, it appears to float in the air with no visible support underneath. However, this mysterious effect is actually an ingeniously designed architectural illusion. 
The pillar is connected to the roof and contains a support beam hidden within its intricate sculptures. Despite being built in a time without modern machinery, it demonstrates the impressive skill and structural knowledge of ancient Indian builders. This optical trick has endured for more than 400 years, and the secret behind the hanging pillar remains intact. The creativity and ingenuity of the designers of this temple exemplified the artistic sophistication and advanced engineering capabilities of ancient India. The hanging pillar remains a source of awe, even to those who know its secret, and is a testament to the technical skill of builders centuries ago.